Hi, I'm Jeff Spira, and I'm going to go through the steps that it takes to home build a boat. These are from a set of plans you might download from the internet. I've been involved in boat boating and boat building and fishing and being on the ocean my whole life. Uh, here I am with a nice yellowtail I caught last year. <laughs> Um, we're going back quite a few years here. This is my college days and I'm sailing off the coast of Santa Barbara. My first major boat building project was to restore this old beat up fishing boat. Uh, I got it done and um, ended up commercial fishing for a couple seasons out of Morro Bay. Uh, I fished offshore as much as a hundred miles and uh, was everywhere from the Oregon border to the Mexican border. That got me interested in building and designing boats, which I have been doing ever since. After I graduated from college and got my mechanical engineering degree, I even worked in the marine industry. This was one of my first projects. Um, this is a uh, 25,000 ton shiplift platform in the Philippines. For a while it was the world's largest. So I've been around marine environment for quite a few years. Okay, let's get into what it takes to build a boat. Bo the boats that I design are very simple to build. Um, you s begin by building the ribs, and you can see uh, these are made of uh, s plain old construction grade uh, lumber, uh, not anything fancy. These are straight 2 by 4s for this boat. This is a 18 foot uh, Carolina Dory style boat that you'll see in a minute here. I just want you to notice that if you look right here, those joints are simple lap joints, just butted together, epoxied, and uh, the, the joint is screwed together. Next those ribs are put on a strong back jig. This is just a very simple to make um, stand that holds them up and uh, positions them correctly to build the boat. Onto those frames is attached a timber called a keelson. It fits into slots that you've pre-cut into the into the frames. It's it also is a standard uh, piece of lumber that you just buy right at uh, right at Home Depot or Lowe's or any uh, lumber yard. Next those frames are notched and longitudinal elements are, are installed. Now what these are, there's two of them, this one here is called the shear clamp and this one here is called the chine log and they go into cuts that you make in the frames and uh, and they're epoxied and screwed in place as well. Okay now the boat is what's called fared and that what that is is the frames and frame elements, all of them, are are planed away so that they have a nice smooth flat surface for the plywood to lay on. Um, it's fairly simple to do, doesn't take long. Then plywood is laying against the frame, framework and cut out a bit oversized. Uh, you actually use the framework to determine what size to cut out the plywood, what shape. Then you attach the plywood to the frames and the longitudinal elements uh, and then trim it uh, to, to meet the frames. Very simple to do here. Here the bottom planking is going on, you can see. Next, um, many builders uh, elect to cover plywood boats with fiberglass. It protects them, it makes them more watertight more impervious to damage uh, scraping against the bottom or rocks or whatever. Very popular technique. If you do not uh, elect to use fiberglass, you should saturate your boat uh, inside and outside uh, with epoxy so that it uh, makes the wood stronger and more protected. Next you flip the boat over. Here we go and then start working on the inside. Finally, you cut, put a coat of paint on it, add ore locks and motor brackets and all sorts of cleats and things like that, and voila, you have a finished boat. Uh, this builder um, did his in probably less than 200 hours. 
Now if this interests you and you think you'd like to learn more, I'd like to invite you to stop by my website. It's spirainternational.com, S-P-I-R-A international.com. On there you can also download a free ebook. It's entitled Everything You Ever Wanted to Know About Building a Boat. You can also see some of my uh, many designs, whether you have a big crew or just a few, whether you want to go down a raging river or uh, out in the ocean or just on a quiet lake with an ultralight boat you can throw on the roof of your car. Um, I have many designs there, uh, also including kayaks and um, several other interesting boats I think you'll really enjoy. So stop by and download my free ebook and say hi. <laughs> Thank you for watching.